What do you mean, let's get fat? <laughs> I don't understand. Well, I mean, <laughs> you've lost so much weight, we're worried about you. And I've slendered down so much. That we can actually both yes. get in this corner. Remember uh -huh. a couple of years yeah, ago, they yeah. had to put us out in the middle That's of the right. studio. You know, and I had to have those clothes specially made, you know, <laughs> of big clothes of Hollywood. <laughs> a couple and, of years uh -huh. ago, Johnson had picked up so much weight that he put hubcaps on it. Uh -huh. That's true. And and they tried to enter me in the, in the Macy's parade. It was terrible. <laughs> anyway. Show number two of Cook and Cheat. Right. Of the eighth year. Of the year. eighth year. Yep. <laughs> well, wake up. All Let right. us not keep you awake. Oh, this oh, lady. Want, have you noticed our pretty our floral, floral rendition? Tribute. Our tri mm -hmm. tribute to From us. Carmen of Roanoke. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Carmen of Roanoke. Yes. Um, <laughs> This is this little note came in the mail to us from Helen B. Ramsey, and it's got a drawing on it, and it's too small to show on the TV. But I can't, I've not been able to figure out what it is. It looks to me like it is like a turkey with a, a, a police uniform on. Helen's been into the mushrooms right. again. <laughs> and uh, she said, I just caught your show for the first time. You are refreshingly <laughs> nuts. Oh. Well, thank you, Helen. And <laughs> That's the nicest you. thing anybody's <laughs> ever said to us. Dear gentlemen, <laughs> I watched your show every week. Oh, I watch your show every week, and I think it's the best show. Oh, well, that's good. enough. Yeah. No, I'll read the rest of it. I think both of you men are so funny. Please keep up your good work. And I think that your recipes are just great. I wouldn't miss your show for anything because you both make my day. So could you please send me your recipes, blah, 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 goes in that, because I'm an old lady. <laughs> And you're too fast for me to get the recipes <laughs> off TV. Well, we've corrected that this year. Yes. The all new improved recipes right. on television. We give you a warning so you know it's coming. And we can't send them to you anymore. But uh, just write, write them down. We'll go as slow as we can so you can get them down. Although we'd love to hear from you and your recipes too. And uh, <laughs> how you like us. And if you want to say that we're the best things going or you know, that you love us and you'd like to meet us personally both and have dates with us and all kinds of other neat things. You know, we'd love that. Or if you want to send in gifts of money or things, because we do need $3 million to keep this show on the air <laughs> and to save all of the cooks in this country from a fate worse than death itself. If you would send that money. All right. It's enough. I'm sorry. It's enough. I just got carried away. She says, P.S. <laughs> I'm from Miss, Miss Hawaka. <laughs> Either that or her name is Miss Hawaka. Where's Miss Hawaka? Doesn't say. Well, anyway, thank you very and much. Robin Robinson wrote to us and said, please do some more beverage recipes. <laughs> well, we will. <laughs> and you know we love those beverages. And remember, folks, keep your cards and letters. All right. <laughs> Time to go over and see what we got today. Let's well, get fat. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I just look, I didn't look fat. I kind of look pregnant. Cornmeal pound cake. Oh, that's now I want to ask tasty. you something. All Every right. time we go out to a, a, a flea market where they're selling stuff or wherever we go to one of those, what do they call them, where they sell a little yard party? Yard and sales. Stuff, yard sales. Yard parties. You always say, oh, hee hee, look, that uh, pound cake looks like cornmeal. Uh -huh. And I've always wondered why you do that. Why are you amused by that? I don't know. Sometimes people make pound cake. And the way I remember pound cake, the way Grandma used to make it, pound cake was rich and fine and not all coarse looking like cornbread. So I, I you know, oh, okay. I well, saw, I was wondering. you know, just <laughs> thought maybe we could do this one with uh, cornmeal in it and see if it came out that way. Okay. And, and I'm doing black out. walnut wafers. Ooh. Ooh. Now that does sound good. It does. Smack your lips. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what. What? Why don't you you start up on that mess, or do you want me to start? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the oven to 325 degrees. And I'm going to turn mine on to 400 degrees. As a matter of fact, I've already done it. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to do it because I've got a cake standing by. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but if I did, uh, it would be at uh, 325 degrees. Well, let me start mixing on this thing, and then maybe you can... Uh jump in on it. Oh, okay. I've got a bowl here and a measuring cup. No stuff, Sherlock. Mm -hmm. And two eggs. <laughs> Don't ever do that oh, on a Lord. plastic bowl. It doesn't work well that way. Now, wh why didn't you do that? <laughs> oh, Johnson, you're real sloppy on that one. I also think that puts shells in the egg. Yeah. Oh, well. 
<laughs> what can I tell you? What happened to the pride that you once had? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm not used to cooking with plastic bowls. Anyway, I've got two eggs down in this bowl, and I'm going to beat them into submission, you know, until they are light. So they got to be lightheaded. So it's still real dark down in there. Uh-huh. I love this mixer. <laughs> this is an exciting part of our program. Well, it's just, you know, it's an aggravation, but you have to do it. Now they're getting, they're beginning to get light. We can see the light of egg. But you have to really let them go now. You, you can't fool around. Are you getting tired by no. are we keeping you up? No, no, no. This and onions. I've seen you do more of this and onions than anything else Funny, I've ever seen you do in your life. These eggs are getting white, but you gotta get real white. Now what are you doing? Aerating them? Yep. <laughs> Aerating on them. Aerating up on them. And they're getting very light. Well, while he's doing that, I'm just going to go find a knife. I'll be back. Oh, here we go. No, I was going to use that for something else. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to throw in a, a cup of brown sugar that is firmly packed. I don't know why they always say that either. Make what? sure it is firmly packed in your measuring cup. But a cup of light brown sugar, and then that's going to have to get... Uh, beaten up into the uh, eggs. But anyway, everybody's seen. I got started out with a fresh box of brown sugar so it won't be hard as an adobe brick. You know, if you have uh, brown sugar that's real terrible, remember that time we had to beat uh, some brown uh -huh. sugar up here on the show into submission? Mm -hmm. It was just like a brick. And uh, if, you, if you have that problem, microwaves will take care of that in a hurry. Well, you know, I heard that, and I tried it, and it turned to a caramel sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you left it in too long, fool. Well, How I'm long not... did you leave it in there? Oh, I don't know, a couple of hours. No, <laughs> no, it, I thought it was long enough. I guess it was too long. But You don't leave it in very long. What I would imagine what you'd have to do is put it on the uh, thaw oh, okay. thing. Well, you know, I'll try it yeah. on, on thaw. Now I'm going to beat the... Uh, well, you can't beat that sugar. I'm going to beat it until it's thick and creamy. I don't believe I'm ever going to get to do anything Well, you show. probably will here in a minute. Oh, it's getting thick and creamy, Lair. Look at that. I guess you have to do it to get all the lumps out of it and everything. Oh, it is looking nice. Sort of looks like some kind of caramel candy. Yeah. Okay, now I've got to add the dry ingredients, so while I'm doing that, maybe you want to play around or something. <laughs> play around? Well, I'm going to take six tablespoons of margarine, and i got these little labels on the side of them to make, make it easy for fools like me to figure out what six of them are. Unfortunately, this knife is so sharp, How and, this, sharp and this butter is so smushy that I just can't get anything... All right, now what we're going to do is, it, and, and it's a good idea to to, uh, to let it get kind of soft. Because I'm going to do this by hand, because I needed a mixer too and I don't have one. So I'm just going to do it by hand. What we're well, going to do get them at the store is now. we're going to cream the margarine and the sugar until fluffy. That ought to be good for a couple of laughs. One cup until of sugar. Until fluffy. Until, until fluffy, fluffy does what? Well, until fluffy comes home. <laughs> <laughs> that was that cat that you used to have. Fluffy the cat. That's approximate. Now, what you could do, if you had a mind to in the equipment, is you could take that mixer and just blend that stuff right up. But I don't have that, so, <laughs> so I'm having to do this the hard way. So I'm going to be playing with this for a while. In fact, from the looks of things, I may be playing with it for more than a while. Go ahead, Johnson. All right, I'll well, go through the misery of this stuff. I've got two-thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour. We're using all kinds of flour today. We really Larry's are. Larry's got pastry flour he's going to use, and this is all purpose. Yeah. And to it, I've added a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. 
And please let us remind you, we have no interest financially in any baking powder company as of yet. But uh, be sure to use fresh baking powder when you bake. But if we it's are open more to than six months old. It's out of date. Excuse me. Now I'm going to throw this into my eggs and brown sugar, and I'm going to beat this in a little bit while Larry's doing that. And this is going to make a fairly heavy little batter here. Now, do you think this looks fluffy? Well, it's getting there. I think it could have some more uh, time there. Not me, this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I look a little fluffy, too. The hair is not. Anyway, no, I think that's as fluffy as it's going to get, boys and girls, because we're going to add more stuff to it anyway. Now, it says beat in four eggs one at a time. So, that's what I'm going to do. It would be much fluffier if I was doing it with a electric mixer, which I'm not, and I have no intentions of messing with it. Sometimes you have to improvise a little bit. And take four eggs and you work them in one at a time. What happens, I wonder if you throw all four of them in at once? Does it explode? I don't know. Probably just would get uneven. You think so? Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be pretty uneven the way I'm doing it anyway. I think it would be much, 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 much better if I had a... A device to do it with. Okay, now here goes egg number two. Oh dear. What's with you and I and the eggs today? I don't know. We I just have lost never our got touch. Well, we've just gotten out of TV practice. I know if we were in our personal homes that we could do it with any trouble. Oh, at sure. All. Well, I did yesterday. I just did it a minute. Nothing to it. Oh, I think. Recipes oh, are coming. Recipes we, are yes. coming. Run for your life. Here they come. Get out your pencils and papers, everybody. Well, that's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. That was pulled along under here by a wire. It's incredible yeah. how they do things. And, you know, TV. we use some of Santa's elves to help us uh, Egg with number that. three. Larry, while you're doing that, I'm just opening up well, now, packages wait a of black walnuts. Egg I'm... number three was the most exciting one. Oh, I'm sorry, and now you've missed it. No, go ahead, lady. Well, I've opened up packages of black walnuts until I have a cup of them, it says. Actually... Store-bought? You mean you didn't go out and crack these? Lord, no. Are you thinking I I'm remember a time when you would have gone way out of your way to do something decent on this show. And now I'm going to throw them into the batter. So there goes my walnuts in here. Now I'm going to try to stir it all up. So excuse me one more time while I... Well, while he's doing that, I've just added egg number four, which I'm putting into this mixture. This right lively mixture. Okay. Sugar and margarine. Isn't that pretty? I just know I'm going to run out of bowl space here in a second. I just know I started with a bowl that's too small. I don't think so. Now, we need to add one and a quarter cups of flour. Now, it calls for, this is the interesting part, pastry flour. I had no idea. I stopped little old ladies with gray hair, blue hair, black hair, dark roots, blonde hair. Everybody I could find, I stopped and said, you know what pastry flour is. I couldn't, I didn't know what it was. And Laban finally tells me that what it is, it's, it's, it's cake flour. But, it's, it, but it doesn't have all the stuff in it, right? Right, it's not self right However, I did find some all-purpose white flour unbleached for breads, cakes, and pastries, which is milled very fine, and that's the idea, right? Mm -hmm. And now I've lost a cup, so it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, ten. I need at least 50. <laughs> okay. And I'm dropping my batter by spoons full onto the baking sheet. I need one and a quarter cup of this stuff, which I just seem to be getting everywhere. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I never used to be this way. It's your nerves. Is it really? It's your nervous condition. We're going to put that in there. Get the bag out of the way. Oh. Listen, can you hear those hyenas in there laughing? <laughs> so. There are people in here whispering things to me. Uh, what? It's signifying to you. Do the floor. Oh. Wash the floor. Thank well, you. That's got to be in there for five minutes. <laughs> What'd you put in there? Doris and everybody, five minutes. Five minutes, minutes okay. Doris. Doris is helping us out you this got, year. Doris oh, Ford, Jim, very lovely. Wait, Jim over here has got a, one of those fancy alarms. You don't have one. 
You have lied, lied, lied. do liar, anything to get his name fire. mentioned on television. Mm hmm. That's the way it goes. Now, listen, I'm mixing this in very badly, I might add. Or well, do you want to use the mixer? I'm I'll clean up for no, you. no, no, I don't need it now. It's just I needed a bigger bowl. But I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to make do with what I got. Oh, okay. Well, that's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm working that flour in there. And then I've got some other stuff to put in it. I got a quarter oh. of a cup of white cornmeal. Quarter of a cup. It doesn't use an awful lot, as you can see. Well, here, you want Boom. the measuring cup, the good one? Then? Nah. There. Nah. Too late. Well, I'm going to work corn. that in there a little bit. This is right thick as. Oh, we got Dobbin working on this. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do this. Anyway. Now you did the raspberry all over your cake. <laughs> oh, this is looking pretty. Isn't that pretty? No, mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to look like cornbread. Do you? Well, I don't know. Well, I, I hope you have a little faith in me, Johnson. I well, think it's I looking do. right pretty. I don't yeah. think it looks like cornbread. Yeah, it looks good. Say it looks pretty. Looks real pretty. Now we need to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Freshly grated. <laughs> you think I've got a great nutmeg all evening long for this show. You full of eighth of a teaspoon. You're full of an eighth of a teaspoon. This really smelled delightful yesterday afternoon when I was baking in my kitchen. Quarter of a teaspoon With of bacon? cinnamon. I've never heard of putting bacon in a pound cake. Or a teaspoon. It won't open. Uh, are they having a party in the back or they what? They are. They couldn't be watching this yeah, show. Yeah, Maureen brought that much. drinks and stuff, and they're having a big party in there. Something about, you know, Rex, well, whatever. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Hardly two shows into the season, and we've already got ourselves fired. Now, here comes the good part. Two table teaspoons of apple brandy. I've got some mm. Captain Applejack. Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me see if that is the right stuff here. Ooh. Yeah, not too bad. What's it taste like? Apple brandy. Two. Oh, come on, Larry. It's good for you. Ooh, it's worse than that. Now, yeah, just, yes, yes. Put that in there. Now, by the way, here's what happened to me yesterday. Let me give you a little hint. I was, uh, I went out shopping yesterday, which was a Sunday when I was getting ready to do this show. And obviously, I didn't have this stuff, this uh, apple brandy. Well, I couldn't get a course, little shot of that. I, I couldn't get it in a normal store. You know, you have to, here in Virginia, go to an ABC store to do that which is not open on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what I was going to tell you, we're going to get down on time here. I had some triple sec on hand. I always keep that on hand for cooking. And because it's very, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's very fruity. That's where I'm looking for it. You can replace the Applejack with this and it'll be okay. It has an orange flavor. It does. It has sort of an orange fruity flavor. Now what you do, there it is. And what you do then is you line a moderate sized cake pan like so with some wax paper and then you just throw it in there and you put it in the oven for 325 degrees for <coughs> it says an hour and a half. I would suggest that you should check it about an hour and 10 minutes in because I think that's the greatest of plenty. Either that or my oven is terribly hot. So anyway, so we, we got to have letters. So yeah. The, uh, uh, I think we need to go over our recipes. Oh, we haven't done our recipes yet? No, we haven't done that. Let's yet. do it all Let's at one time. Let's do it all. all right. Bring in the witch and the... No, all right, okay. the black walnut right. uh, wafers need two eggs, a Don't cup nervous, of firmly actually. packed brown sugar, <laughs> light brown, two-thirds a cup of all-purpose flour, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of finely chopped black walnuts. And that's it. Now the cornmeal pound cake is uh, six tablespoons of margarine and you, you mess that around in with a cup of sugar and then you beat four eggs in individually and then one and a quarter cups of pastry flour thrown in there along with uh, three quarters teaspoon baking powder. <gasps> I forgot the baking powder. Where's the baking powder? By heavens, I forgot the baking powder. 
Anyway, you put that in there with all the stuff. Good thing we read this over. A quarter cup of white cornmeal. This wouldn't have amounted to nothing without the bacon powder. An eighth of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and two teaspoons of apple brandy, or you can substitute triple sec. I think I should have had that shot that I had. I forgot my stuff. What, how much was that? How much was it? It was a baking powder. Three quarter of a teaspoon mm -hmm. of uh, That's three soda. One <laughs> Is it soda or powder? <laughs> oh, I know. Baking powder, not soda. <laughs> we, <laughs> thank where you. is Miss Witch? <laughs> oh, come on in here. I believe she better get in here and save and the day. Actually, we have to say Mrs. Witch because she wasn't with us last week, Larry. And do you know why? No, why? She is with Witch. <laughs> She's going to have a baby. Oh, no. Yes, and Ms. Witch was uh, feeling ill with kitchen sickness last week. <laughs> so she couldn't be with us, but she's here today, and we hope she's going to be all right, and we will try to keep you informed as uh, the pregnancy progresses. Oh, well, that's, that's real good. The letter says, gentlemen, I am the president of the Celery Benevolent Protective Association, oh, for heaven's and sake. I have unfortunately noticed that you rarely use our stalky friend on your show. Why is this? What could be more beautiful than a statuesque stalk of celery with green leaves aflutter and pale green hearts throbbing with the dewy glory of freshness? Mm -hmm. Please rectify this omission on your otherwise commendable show. Mm -hmm. And that's signed Jacques Salariac, president of the Celery Benevolent Protective Association, Farnsworth, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean, lady? Well, I guess he wants us to use celery on the show, so next week we will use celery. We'll, oh, well, we'll do something with celery true. next week. And, well, uh, let me get this cake out of the oven. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to do that. I want to go over here because I can't wait for you to see these cookies. Now, you'll have to admit that is a pretty cake. That is a lovely cake. It really is. It's, it's just, you know, gotten real puffy and <laughs> it's like these cookies. Blue. They won't come off. But it is a real lovely presentation. Well, Laban, that's, uh, maybe you needed a... Yes, Laban. <laughs> It is. Maybe it needed to stay on there just a little while. Well, no, I can't imagine why you would say that it needed to stay on longer than that. It is a very lovely cookie, I think. It is well, just it tastes full of wonderfulness. Okay. But it is good. I mean, anything mm -hmm. with black walnut and couldn't be that bad. Let me... Uh, good grief, I think they built my house out of that stuff. But now, do you think that looks not? Do you think that looks yeah, it like? That looks like cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not that much cornbread in it. I think it's real lovely. Well, let's give it a try. It does have a good taste to it. Is well, it a little? I'll just carve out a piece <laughs> of it, out of the heart of it. How rude! Oh, oh, it isn't bad. It's just dry as all get out. Mmm. That don't favor nobody. Oh, it's not that bad. No, not I that, guess we have to say. Not that good either. <laughs> Do we have to mm. say goodbye? Might be good with ice cream. Lots of whipped cream. It baked too long. It did. Well, remember too long. that. Don't bake it as long. Bye. <laughs>